Well, Dawson Creek was a great uh, boot camp retreat for us. It was uh, in, a, in a remote location, but in a community where people opened their homes and their hearts to us. They left their houses and let us move in. And we had everything that we needed. I thought it was a great environment. Uh, I loved being there and the arena and all the facilities they had were first class for us. And the way that the people treated us is, I think, something that we'll all remember. Dawson Creek was different because it really was mile zero and um, the start of everything for us and because it was so remote and, and isolated and the fact that these people in the community embraced us, you know, their friends that we still have to this day where they, they left their homes and we, we lived as a team basically um, as if we were at our own homes. So that was something that we never really done before as a national team and I think that that brought us very close. It was the most intense training schedule um, I had ever experienced in my life. Uh, 10 to 12 hours of training every single day. Um, you know, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, you cherish every moment of sleep you get, every minute of rest that you have. Um, but it really helped us build that base going into the Olympic year uh, where there's a lot of volume. The training was, was intense and brutal, but we had a lot of great bonding moments um, as a team. I remember we went on, we had to go on a 60K bike ride out to a camping site and we camped all weekend and you know we had campfires at night with s'mores and singing songs or whatever around the campfire but just hanging out with everybody and spending that time together memories like that uh, was incredible. Dawson Creek was an absolutely phenomenal host city. The building, the facilities were incredible um, and having people actually move out of their homes for an entire month so that we had somewhere comfortable to stay that felt like home for us. Um, I think that when we showed up we were all pretty shocked that people had actually moved out of their homes for us to have a place to stay. Um, and I think that that speaks volumes to the, the people in Dawson Creek and the community there. So uh, I don't think we could have asked for a better host city and you know as tough as it was we have a lot of great memories from there. I remember rolling into Dawson Creek and my mind being blown at the fact that there were families that up and moved out of their house um, for the whole month that we were there to let us live there. Just fantastic people that live there. Such a giving community. They love their athletics. They've got a great rink there. Um, we had a great turnout when we were there. I feel even though um, we were there just for training, we did play some inter squad games and, and people came out to watch. And I, I don't know, I just have so much fun going back to that time. And we reminisce about stories all the time when we were there. And, I can't thank Dawson Creek enough for being such a, a great host and uh, I'm sure the under 18 girls are going to have just as much fun as we did if not more. Well uh, mile zero is obviously mile zero on the Alaskan highway but it was also the start of our Olympic journey and fittingly so we traveled 25,500 miles to get to the Olympic Games in Vancouver between Dawson Creek and the Olympics and so that was really where we built our foundation as a, as a group. The training that we did day in and day out and um, starting really at zero with a brand new group of 27 girls that were fighting for 20 spots and moving towards Vancouver. So it was uh, you know, stressful and exhausting, very long days and they, they drove us hard but at the same time I think we managed to pull through and, and, and that training is really what ended up uh, with us winning the gold medal at the end of the day.